What is up guys? Welcome back for our week 5 team builder for the NBA. This week we are taking on the Oakland Lux Rays coached by Cole. I will leave a link to his channel in the description if he even has one. I will ask him, uh, but we haven't been in contact yet. I've tried to message him. Um, anyway, today is Saturday, so uh, we still have time, but... Anyway, uh, my opponent's team is made up of Garchomp, Lucario, Cloyster, Chandelure, Venomoth, Zatu, Mega Deancey, uh, Latios, Breloom, Escavalier, and Malamar. So, looking at his team, the first thing that I noticed was that he is extremely fire weak. Lucario is weak to fire, so is Venomoth, uh, Breloom, and Escavalier. Uh, Escavalier, of course, being a quad weakness. Then Cloyster doesn't take special fire hits very well. Uh, and Mega Deancey is not a very defensive Pokemon to begin with. So his real only switch into fire moves is Chandelure, maybe Garchomp as well. So uh, kind of playing off of that a little bit, uh, knowing that he has to plan for my Typhlosion heavily, I brought a team in consequence to what I think he has to bring for me. So we're going to start things off with Twerk, our Mamoswine, Choice Scarf with Earthquake, Icicle Spear, Knock Off, and Ice Shard. Now, why am I bringing Icicle Spear over Icicle Crash? Well, because I think there's a very high likelihood that he could have a Focus Sash Pokemon, uh, such as Zatu. Um, Garchomp is a possibility as a lead. Uh, could be Lucario, could be uh, Chandelure. Uh, Cloyster is a very, very probable uh, Focus Sash Pokemon. Not that I can knock it out in one hit anyway, uh, but Breloom is another one that is po potentially Focus Sashed. So. Um, to counteract the Sashes, I brought Icicle Spear this week, mainly because I want to, basically I want to prevent him from getting a procs because I'm not bringing Hazard Removal this week. Um, his two only forms of uh, rock setting are Garchomp and Mega Deancey, both of which I can force out with this Mamoswine. If he brings Scarf Garchomp with rocks, good for him. Uh, I mean, I can't do anything about that. But it, for any other sets, I have the Icicle Spear for the ice, uh, yeah, Icicle Spear for the Garchomp, and I have the Earthquake for the Deancey, both of which will get one hit KO'd uh, by either one of those moves. Icicle Spear just has to hit three times, and I'll be able to knock out the Garchomp. If I hit twice, then I hit twice. But again, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, we're bringing Thick Fat to be able to maybe take Chandelure's Fire Blast and knock it out with a uh, an Earthquake. If of course it's Max Speed Scarf, which would Speed Tie us if he wins a Speed Tie. Uh, I can also take, uh, let's say, HP Fires from Latios very well, um, so we can pretty much counteract that switch into it most of the time, so that's nice. So Choice Scarf Mamoswine pretty much runs through his team, as you can see. Uh, his responses are Priority in Lucario and Breloom. Uh, other than that, I mean, Escavalier switches in, but I have a switch into his Escavalier as well. So, anyway, that's going to be our Mamoswine this week. Next up, we have Edward, our Scizor. Like I said before, I'm not bringing any hazard removal this week, so we are a fully offensive set with 216 speed. This puts us at 264, which means we are able to outspeed his base 70s in Cloyster and Breloom if they're not Scarfed. So, very nice there. Uh, knockoff is the probably the move I'm going to be clicking most often. Uh, a lot more than U-Turn because I want to be able to catch the Chandelure on the switch. Uh, I want to knock off any potential items on, let's say, the Zatu, which can normally switch on in on me pretty comfortably if it's physically defensive. Um, also want to get rid of the Escavalier's item as soon as possible. Being that Scizor is probably going to be my switch into Escavalier every time, it doesn't have coverage to hit me for super effective damage. Um, it's more, the most powerful hit move to hit me with is probably Drill Run because uh, I resist its two stabs. So... Uh, this is, like I said, we don't have any recovery, so I'm going to have to be very careful around that Escavalier, especially if it's banded, but I think he has to bring Assault Vest uh, this week for a couple of threats on my team, namely the Hydreigon and the Venusaur. So, we're going to go a uh, fully offensive set, no recovery, just all attacks, U-turn to gain momentum, Bullet Punch for the late game and for Mega Deancey, because if I don't bring Bullet Punch, I'm dumb. Uh, a knockoff, of course, for what I said before. And superpower is to be able to hit the Cloyster for super effective damage uh, if we're one-on-one. -on -one. I can go for superpower, switch out, come back in, bullet punch, and knock it out, basically. Um, and, of course, it's pretty good for a couple of other things on his team, like a Scavalier. So this is going to be our uh, Mega Scizor set. Next up, we have more than likely our win condition. I just have to play this thing very, very well. Uh, we have Kratos, our Tyrantrum, Dragon Claw, Head Smash, Fire Fang, and Dragon Dance. Basically, the 224 speed that you see down there is to outspeed his fastest Pokemon being um, Mega Deancey and Latios uh, at, at plus one. Dragon Claw knocks out Latios, knocks out uh, Chandelure, 
Well, Head Smash does that too. Uh, Dragon Claw almost knocks out Venomoth, but I think Fire Fang will do the job. Uh, we have Dragon Claw also for Garchomp. Um, Fire Fang is there for specifically, like I said before, his fire weaknesses, right? So we have Lucario, uh, we have Venomoth, we have Breloom, and we have a Scavalier to be able to hit them for super effective damage. We have um, Head Smash on there to pretty much hit everything else. He does not deal with this Pokemon very well. If I come in on a slower Pokemon, he pretty much loses something if I click the correct move. I am running Babiri Berry, and I considered running um, Chopple instead because I had a test game with Rob, and he brought, um, he didn't bring Lucario. He only brought Breloom as his uh, form of priority. I guess he, he brought Cloyster as well, but it was a Shell Smash set, so I doubt it had Ice Shard. Um, but Bibiri Berry is there just in case, just for the Lucario specifically, because uh, I live Breloom's Mock Punch from full. Uh, I live Cloyster's Ice Shard from full. That's not a problem. Uh, Lucario's Bullet Punch is a little bit scary, though, uh, especially that he can fire, uh, he can follow it up with an extreme speed afterwards um, and outspeed me. Uh, any day of the week, even if I had some kind of priority, which I don't, but I'm, before the game, I'm going to um, weigh my options between Babiri and um, and Chopple. We'll see what I end up bringing, but anyway, our next Pokemon is Thundolos, our Thunderous. Yet another week where this thing can put in a tremendous amount of work. Um, he doesn't have anything past base 110, so Thunderous outspeeds with 248. Uh, naive nature. Of course, I'm bringing naive because I have U-turn on this set uh, to be able to hit Latios and Breloom as hard as possible. Uh, HP Ice is there as well because it hits uh, the Garchomp, the Zatu, uh, again, the Latios and the Breloom, so that's very nice. U-turn is also quad effective on the Malamar. That's why I'm bringing this set specifically um, because he does have a ground type in Garchomp, so I don't want to be locked into or go for a Volt Switch and have that thing switch in, especially if it's Scarfed. Um, I'd, I'd just much rather bring U-Turn, plus it hits, again, uh, Latios a little bit harder. And Thunder Wave came in clutch against Rob because I had, uh, he was about to Shell Smash sweep me, and, um, I just went into Thunderous and clicked Thunder Wave and stopped it immediately, so that was, uh, that was a very, very clutch moment. Uh, I am bringing Thunder Wave this week in case he brings up uh, some sp setup sweepers like, um, Calm Mind, uh, Chandelure, we have Shell Smash and Cloyster, uh, obviously, Thunder Wave doesn't do anything to Garchomp, but if it is Swords Dance, then I'll knock it out with a combination of HP Ice plus Bullet Punch or Ice Shard from Twerk. Uh, then we have a potential Calm Mind Latios, Swords Dancing Breloom. If I can slow any one of those things down, that's amazing. Just getting off a of Thunder Wave in general is really good. Plus, he can't bounce it back with uh, either one of his uh, Magic Bouncers because I am an Electric type, so that's very nice. Uh, U-Turn also gets me out of situations against Mega Diancy, against Zatu, so it's very nice there. Um, Thunderbolt, obviously enough to take out Zatu, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, Thunderous, is, I can see putting in a lot of work. We are a leftover set and not Life Orb. I don't want this thing getting worn down. If I have Residual Recovery, that's very nice, just in case he manages to get up rocks for whatever reason. So, last but not least, we have CTC, or Uxie. Uh, this thing is pretty much, <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid, but it's my answer to Chandelure. Um, I'm faster than Chandelure because of the 176 speed. I'm also faster than Lucario because of this speed. So basically I outspeed both of them. I'm able to hit them extremely hard with knockoff and fire punch respectively. This is also our stealth rocker. Stealth rocks can come into play. Uh, we have U-turn on there for momentum again for the Malamar so that we can just get on out against Malamar, not allow it to knock us off, and it, except if it's Scarfed, of course, which it won't be able to knock us out because of our HP investment regardless, and U-Turn's uh, gonna do a tremendous amount of damage. We are rocking 220 attack because that permits me to, I believe, knock out Chandelure, if I'm not mistaken, um, or come very, very close. Maybe after Rocks, it knocks it out, I think. Uh, and it also hits, uh, it allows me to hit a Scavalier in Lucario for a lot of damage with the Fire Punch. Stealth Rocks, of course, like I said before, because uh, I don't want to be running Stealth Rocks on our Mamoswine, because it's a Choice Scarf variant, and uh, I have to get up Rocks at some point. He does have two Magic Bouncers, being Zatu and Mega Diancy, so it's a little bit pro problematic to get up Rocks. Uh, I considered maybe running a Steel-type move, like let's say, I don't know what Steel-type moves does this thing get. I know it gets, uh, obviously, Hidden Power Steel. I think it might get Iron Head. Uh, let's see. Gets Iron Tail, so that's always an option against the Mega Diancy. But uh, overall, I think just Stealth Rocks are better because I do threaten a couple of things out, and I don't see him going necessarily into Diancy on this thing. Uh, and if he does, I can always just U-turn out, so that's not a big issue. So that's our team. Uh, I've only seen Cole play once. He brought a very, very interesting team and played very well against Jar. Um, he didn't really see Iron Tail on uh, on Mega Absol coming. I'm not sure why. 
But, um, yeah, so... He brought Wonder Skin Venomoth. That's another thing that I have to be extremely careful with because I could miss my uh, Thunder Wave with Thunderous if I allow that thing to quiver up, and that could be a huge issue. Uh, did I go over Venusaur? I don't think I did. No, I skipped over it. Uh, last Pokemon here. Sorry about that, guys. Is uh, Venusaur. Um, we're bringing Venusaur this week because it pretty much checks uh, Mega Deancey pretty well. I'm able to resist its special move uh, in Moonblast, and we are fully physically defensive to take on its Diamond Storm. Uh, we do a lot of damage back with a Giga Drain, obviously. Uh, Knockoff is there because his prime switch into this should be Zatu if I can get that thing's item off, or even Latios for that matter. That's amazing. Hidden Power Fire, of course, there to hit the Breloom, a weakened Breloom, uh, and a Scavalier. We're not bringing Sludge Bomb this week because he has a Steel type and he has quite a few resists to a Sludge Bomb, being Chandelure, things like that. Knockoff is also there for Chandelure, of course. Um, Hidden Power Fire, we already said, and Synthesis is there just so that I can keep my longevity. Uh, we are Overgrow, of course, because that's the best ability I can run. I'm not running uh, any kind of uh, sun this week. I considered it uh, like Venusaur in conjunction with uh, Typhlosion and Hydreigon. I really, really considered it, but I think this is the best possible course of action for me. Also, a switch into a Chandelure would have been uh, Hydreigon, which I may replace Uxie with from here to the game. We'll see. Uh, but I really like Uxie this game as well. So that pretty much uh, covers up uh, the team right there, guys. If you enjoyed this team builder, be sure to hit, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're psyched for the game tomorrow, make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Catch you later. Ciao.